I don't think we'll get like the 60 fucking thousand required, but there you go. Anyway, we pull in and we yow. So we're doing a little tour of the island and uh, it reminds a lot of them of their various hometowns we come from, or at least it contrasts nicely. Uh, Anna prefers a more urban setting and uh, Lou has never really known anything outside of Cosmo Base because she just fucking lived in space on the little thing. Uh, Go gets annoyed at the lack of Anna's appreciation, but before they can start to have a big lovers fight. Uh, Daya comes in and uh, is like, hey, everyone chill out, he's on this nice island. And they were, and then in the end, uh, Suwaki, I think that's her name, uh, Daya's girlfriend is like, uh, it's a shame that everyone had to stay on the ship. But, and then she's like, yeah, but we drew lots and they lost out fair and square. Uh, Van, uh, like, was allowed to go out, like he won, but uh, he declared it's too much bother to go outside, so he went ahead and had a nap. Um, and then uh, Lou slips away for an appointment, she said, and they were like, wow, so why is the anti festum fortress covered with a layer of ordinary countryside? And why does nobody here know anything about this secret mega base that works like below? Maybe the people at the nearby school can help. So uh, Anna is like, I'll go ask him. And Go's like, wait, no, fucking don't. And then Carmen uh, tells Go that he better learn to exert some control over his bride or his marriage. Uh, it will be very rocky indeed. And then everyone else is like, yeah, I guess we should go. I mean, why not? Let's go see. Check out all of our fellow classmates where you're getting back in Japan. See what school's like on the fucked up island. Uh, everyone else is like, dang it, I wish we could go outside. Uh, Miss believes that anyone taking a second away from uh, saving and stopping the earthlings in fighting is unforgivable. And then, um... And then it turns out from Joshua and, um... Uh, Shizuka, the, a lot of people who are still on board the ship actually won. Um, like, they drew the lots, but then they gave it their passes to others. And uh, Shelly did that, and she gave hers to Anna. Uh, she's been working out overtime on how to read other people's emotions, and she uh, wants to use that knowledge uh, to better help uh, do shit for Mist. And uh, she couldn't think of a better use for her new skill than letting Anna be together with her husband. And it was like, nice work. Um, but Shizuka says, maybe when your knowledge will eventually be up there so you know when not to help Mist carry heavy stuff and drop it on all the floor. And, uh, he, yeah, like, here we go. So she's helping. He drops all on the floor and he's shitty. And, um... Mist is like, dang it, shall you get the hell out of my way? And then she runs off in a huff. Uh, uh, Mitsuko Yagyu and, um, Mi and uh, Lee are like, wow, you should go apologize. And Mist is like, what? If anyone should say sorry, it's her. And then Lee's like, wow, you're not going to get very many girls with that logic, buddy. And then uh, Diamond, one of the engineers, is like, dang, it missed his uh, an immature shithead. <laughs> so I said, hey, guess what? Better in the game, we're still going to be around and your planet will still be blown up. Yeah, fuck this. Uh, so, uh, Lou's appointment was with uh, Nick, and he's putting her through uh, the combat simulation. Uh, she's already mastered the basics, um, but she's not going to be ready for combat until she gets an A rank. Use what he says there, so come on, Aeon Inc. Um, initial failures don't dawn her at all, and uh, Dick is more than happy to keep going, and her obsession with uh, avenging her father's death is either a boon or a train wreck waiting to happen. 
Uh, Makabe Sun pilot in the Fafner isn't uh, that coincidental. Uh, apparently, all the children on this island are fated to get in the cockpit uh, thanks to basically the coordinator thing. You know, in Evangelion, there with the kids that were like, they need the activation fact like they had to be the right thing. And it's basically that. Um, but they've all been modified um, to um, work in the thing. And Kali says, uh, Does that include. Uh, Genetic engineer, and he's like, Yeah, it does. Um, all of the kids got the treatment because he's going to need uh, a lot of help as the war goes. Uh, Mikabi tells Chizuru to pick out more candidates from his classmates, and near the top of the list is her own daughter. And she's like, Ooh, I don't want to put my own kid in harm's way, but I'm more committed to saving the world and killing all the festum. So Makabe says, Probably best to break the news to the kids sooner rather than later, so bring them in and we'll tell them that they're going to get in the robot. Uh, back at the school, um, which uh, apparently anybody can just fucking walk into, it was like, wow, look how huge this is. Ooh, ha, ooh. And all the buildings look hella lived in. Uh, Daya challenges Kenji to a foot race. And uh, Kyo's like, no, you guys can just fucking do it. And Kenji's like, I'll uh, beat you on a bike too. But Daya's, and he wager a bit of ramen. And they run. And then uh, Yukie shows up and he's like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? So she's like, what the hell are all these offliders doing, like, jogging around my friggin' sports track? And then she finds out that they're part of, like, we're part of the crew that saved the day, and all the students are like, whoa, holy shit! And like, wait, Daya, you're the same age as us, in middle school. Even though you look like a little boy. And then Yukie uh, tells everybody off causing a ruckus because they're all hooting, hollering, cheering on the race and says, please, try not to do it again. And then she walks off with all her students. And then, and then we're like, wow, is she uh, that strict uh, with everybody? And uh, Wendy says that the students look like they uh, look like they're going somewhere they don't want to go. So Carmen is like, I'm going to go find out where. And she says she'll disable whatever security uh, will be guarding the destination. And then says everybody else uh, they can follow too. If she, they just give her a minute to turn everything off so we can sneak in. So, UKA has brought all the future Fafna pilots here. And so she and so she tells them that the island they've been living on is just camouflage for a military base. Uh, he's known, and they're like, he's like, wow, how are you doing that? He's like, a long time. I had time to study the secret system to uh, use it. Uh, he says Kazuki, uh, his Kazuki, and he said he only just found out, and he's hella confused. Uh, then there's Kenji, who's like, why the hell did you keep this secret? And Yukie then says, children are supposed to only worry about your studies. And, uh, but uh, she's hella short tempered, and they're like, What the hell's up with that? But she's about to send them all off to die, so you know. So, uh, Carmen sneaks in, and then, uh, it turns out the like, we followed and we're like all sneaking, and it's like, Wait, this is just the base that we're already allowed in, we didn't have to sneak or anything. So, uh, all the little kids are going to be uh, turned into robot pilots and Go says that in uh, his opinion no amount of training could enable their bodies to withstand the cockpit at their age. And then Makabe shows up and says they require neither stamina nor athleticism. And then he, and they're like, oh sorry, he's like, and why the hell are you sneaking around like spies? If you need any, if you want any questions, like, answer, just ask them and I'll answer. So Go's like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, but Carmen immediately knows that the appearance of sneaking around is her fault and she makes a uh, note to apologise to everybody that she tricked them all into sneaking. Uh, Kyo uh, says, so if they don't need like athleticism and stuff, what do they need to be good? And uh, he says they need a synergistic, uh, synergetic code count. And that's uh, get for you. And, but that impacts how the neural interface works. Uh, even someone terminally ill could pilot a Fafner with a high enough count. Remember Synchro Rate? Whew. Um, 
and uh, but even someone who was ultra strong couldn't make it move an inch with a low count. Uh, yeah, it's synerg synergetic. Cold. Um, the interface system is unique and uh, has tragic consequences. When suddenly he gets a phone call, um, the Federation have figured out where the island is, they're going to come fight. So Macaray's like, well, fine to go deal with them, sorry everybody. Like, what the hell do you think the Federation want? I don't know, but bad stuff's about to happen, so they're going to go get their robots ready. And uh, Kagali's hiding as well, because she wasn't seen by the Federation. Yeah, so Kagali got him off. So Hester is glad that he finally gets to chat with the people of this island. Um, but he doesn't like that Makabe's totally different from what his intelligence has told him. Uh, he basically orders that they help the fight in the Zaft, especially because they lost loads of troops in Berlin, which I guess was the other idiots. They fucked it. Uh, and uh, Mac uh, Makabe says, I got my hands full, I just protected this island, I can't do that. And Esther says, well, hand over the North Thumb models, they're capable of uh, resisting the Festum's mind-reading shit. And he says that if you refuse, the Alvin organization will be declared an enemy of Malkind, just like Dan our base was. And when he mentions Dan our base, Go comes in and is like, wow, you're a stupid shithead. And, um... Yeah, and then uh, it, he's like, "What? Well, you guys are all traitors to humanity, and we just go, you killed, like, hella civilians in Eurasia, and call him out on it, and then he's like, what the hell are you doing there? Makabe, have you uh, allied yourself with these traitors? And then Makabe says, I have not. And uh, to prove it, he says, I'll help the Federation. So he says, I'll be sending transports to pick up the North Thunk models right away. And he hangs up. So now we get the sad music, like, why are you work with the Federation? And uh, Makabe says, the island can't stand on its own. Um, then Dyer's like, I'll protect it, and beat up all the feds. And Makabe says, how many fellow humans are you willing to sacrifice for this? He says, uh, once started, an internal war is almost impossible to stop until one side lies completely dead. And uh, considering that, sharing a little bit of his tech with the feds is cheap, if it that's all the bloodshed. And then internally he uh, suspects that former commander Minashiro uh, might have uh, had a different idea. Uh, he doesn't expect any of his people who directly asked to participate in the Logos bloodshed. Um, and he says that he's only got um, one objective, which is seeing the Arcadian project to, through to completion. And everything else is secondary. And uh, he, if we want to second guess him then we can shut up and go away. So we're like, wow, whew, 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 okay, fine. Go back to the ship. Uh, Makabe shares our, our doubts, but he doesn't see any other choice on this one. So he's like, I'm going to friggin' Fafnerberg, prepare the Mark X for handing over. And he's like, what? It took a hell of fucking time to build it and develop it. Why should. And he's like, just concentrate on training the kids and getting the Mark Dry and Veer ready for a dry ready for action. Every like all the new pilots, uh, the Fafni kids are fucking it up because they're not like concentrating, like they're not mentally focused. Um. They'll get blown up and it sucks. And after it's done, um, so uh, Shoko has been taken to hospital immediately after the exercise is done. Uh, Yukie doesn't. The teacher on the bottom is like, these kids seem trash. Um, but Soshi, there on the top, uh, tells her that they're doing just fine given their inexperience and uh, low levels of synergetic code. Not everyone can hit the ground running like Kazuki. And um, uh, Shoko, who got taken to hospital, just seems to have mild uh, anemia, but she's rude, the one on the top, uh, worries that she won't be durable enough to survive using the Fafna long term. Uh, UK's like, well, we're not going to dismiss her. And she's like, is that the commander's orders? Does Makabe do that? And she 
she doesn't say. And then she uh, stiffly reminds Suzuru that a lot of people have died to get the project this far, and uh, she'll sacrifice a few more if that's what it takes. There's Shoko. Um, so uh, Kazuki and Shoko's uh, mother have been attending the bedside until she gained consciousness and Shoko's like, will I ever be able to pilot a Fafnir like Kazuki can? And her mum is like, yeah, one day, when you're healthy enough. And uh, she chose the name Shoko, so that her daughter, which means wing child, um, so that her daughter could take flight. And then air raid sirens occur, and it's like, shit, fest them, chick, we gotta go. And uh, Shoko makes Kazuki promise to come back to the island in one piece, and uh, she'll get better in the system in the future. So, the Festum are blowing up all the Federation forces that were on their way to us. Uh, so, she there on the bottom wants to let the Feds uh, die, so no Fafnir Tech has to get handed over. And Makaway's like, I don't think we can just ignore the distress calls though. And then he orders the Mark Elf launched. And then we call in and we're like, hey, we're gonna go to the rescue as well. And he's like, well, I thought you hate the Federation. He's like, yeah, we do, but the common threat posed by the Festum is uh, more than we can ignore. And then this is um, Soaring Sky Sacrifice, Part 1. Unfortunately, the festival is like, are you there? Are you there? What the? And then they will die. Are you there? Bah! He dies. He's fucking dead. So, we did not make it in time to save the Federation troop, uh, but Soshi here is glad this buys time to not hand over the Fafna tech. But Kazuki is like, several people just died, and there's not really much silver line on this one. Uh, Lou is. Cosmo Diver! Wait, Lou, is that you? So, uh, Lou's launched, and, um, goes like, get back in the ship! And, uh, Dick then says, I told her, I told her she wasn't ready for combat! Yeah. And then, uh, goes like, wait, 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 yeah! You've been training her? And then, uh, Lou's like, I'm gonna go get the Festum, fuck it. Stage 15 B2, deploy Lou, but don't let her fight any of the beasts. And then 16 2, she has to destroy more than one type 18. So she gets fucked up. Yeah, it's like, well, we've got to rescue her. So, that's that.
gun there. Oh, are you there? What the fuck's up with these guys? Let's get the festum. Don't listen to them. Fest them, eh? Let's pop them. Any advantage being twins makes you better against bosses because it's extra damage. You're gonna get so many people around dude, when you have two moves, one one range and one one for three. Them, you're going down. Space in the the sea. So much anywhere else though. This robot does look like he's in Trans Am. Welcome to the hell it is. The Strike Rouge. He's still a weird fucking alien, but I'm gonna get him. And he fucking did. Hybrid armor. And an energy save. Those. So Go is like, all right, Lou, I'm going to talk to you and Dick after this mission. Just to like find out what the hell you're doing here. And then before Dick is like, hey, come on, come on, uh, Mr. Thing. Oh, more incoming, hella festums. So Go is like, Ooh, retreat. Can you get in the way and get somebody killed? And she's like, yeah, okay. So Misty's like, these guys look different, what's up with that? And she's like, I don't know. She's just like, I don't know. He's like, well, you... But um, basically, um, Sheldia responds to him in uh, perfectly civil tones, and then Misty's like, you're still mad from before, that's why you're being a jerk. And Lee's like, wow, he has managed to get worse with women. Oh. And then going like, yo, miss, shut the fuck up and concentrate or you're gonna die. Uh, Sakon says that the new enemy might not succumb to the same tactics that we used previously. Um, and uh, we're warned not to uh, be drawn too far in by the bad guys. So, I'm pretty sure what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look over 
here. How about that? Uh, are you there? Jeez, what's up with these fucking guys? Are you there? Shut the fuck up. Are you there? Mm -hmm. What's with these things? This is definitely worse than Kazuma, because Kazuma was an idiot. But at least people beat the shit out of him constantly. And like, he eventually became a real boy. Just gonna like not put him in the sea. It'll be shitty. Is we gotta stop all these goddamn pestles. How you doing, Circle Line? How you doing? It's weird, fucked up pestle. They're ineffable alien menaces you want to assimilate people. And they get in your brain and then they turn you into crystals. The crab just got a black hole to hell. Yeah, let's see how much damage they do to Van. That's a lot. That's a lot of damage. Let's try and evade that one. It's like I'm really gonna dive into the fist of the hive and turn it to Yeah, like the final thing of Hafna is you do an assault on the, like their big bullshit and uh, everybody's mind linked and if one of them dies they all die. And the secret in this is to get them to live, like all of the extra idiots. Bad end is canon. But yeah, like, you have to end up going into the festive pile of bullshit. That sucks. But she had Invincible on, so that's fine. See how he is? Everyone wants to step to fucking Guy King every day. He's too strong. But, Dan has really high prevail, like, 7 or 8. I mean, doesn't seem to be fucking helping right now. Of course they are. Fucking ass. 
And they drain your morale when they hit you as well, by the way. Like, they're shitty. But, got one. Blast them up. Get them at Mark Elf. So they launch the gun. It's actually just the Evangelion song, right? Are you there? Jeez, what the hell are these things? Always talking to me. We told not to talk to strangers. But she fucking bopped them. Are you there? Fuck you! Go has experience of not getting fucked up by the monster. Ooh, another prevail up. ELS if the ELS were evil. And we didn't turn the... the dudes into a flower, they did to themselves, jeez. You know what? 8,000 damage ain't bad. Even the old D-kick. They want to stand next to us. I said, do not touch Kagali. Wow. 
so I know it's to be in a sleep and awake, he lost track of what he was doing what by that point. He was having problems in his head. But they did to themselves. They turned the black hole of the space monster into a flower instead. Enemies are always coming paired up and there's no all attacks, so and you can't like ch choose to make the dude in the back attack the other dude in the back. So it just makes it so you have to kill every enemy twice. And eventually the enemy gets the chain combo thing too. So they come in a pair and you kill one and then the other one can attack everybody in your squad. Like the closest thing to all attacks are the attack combos, like the chain and attack thing that you have to be not attached to anyone to do, which is why I've been like having Gainer and missed on his own. Kill the enemy man, and then he gets stronger. Yeah, even. Like, everybody is, seems to be pretty even. Nobody seems to have a preference in either direction so far. Plus though, we can give that to Van, so now Van's going to start wrecking house now. Like if we gave it to Mist or um, Rakan, then they'd be able to attack like multiple squads. Level 1 lets you attack both dudes in the enemy squad, level 2 lets you attack two squads, and level 3 lets you attack three squads. And just all they have to do is just be in range of your attack, so you can attack everybody, like they don't have to be next to each other. Which is how it works in like every other game. It's, it's just now as long as they're in range of that move. So a range one combo attack, kind of shitty. But like a range three, it's like anybody in a three square thing could make like weird shitty map attacks. Yeah, so Van with his 1 to 3 thing is like, yeah, I'll just have like a 1 to 3 area map attack, don't worry about it. Van is also now good as hell. Get him with your killer 
bite. Didn't do any fucking damage, you asshole. Eight thousand damage that dude, he's fucking good, by the way. moves. So that's the dog laser, that's the crab hurricane, that's the stinger thing. I mean, I don't want to spend all my fucking juice on it. I can't really afford it. You can't do it because she doesn't have enough morale. Because when you hang out in the back of the unit, you don't get shit for morale. It's just fucking bad. But we'll give you the power of Pepis. Dude, for 
extra money too. Cyclone. And you cannot form or break pairs on the battle map. You can break a pair by sending one of the units home. Like, you just send them out. Like, send them back to base. Don't use them ever again. The rest of the map. Enemies bopped. So, um, when uh, Kazuki and the Fafner attacked these new guys, he was like, I don't know if I'm up to this. And then Soshi says, um, The noise you need to, to destroy their car cause is already in your memory. And then uh, Kazuki's like, Hmm. Thinks about when he blinded his friend in one eye, it's like, okay, that's the grip I need to use on my weaponry to call. Uh, Kenji and the G is like, if you guys want to read my mind, the only thing you're going to find is porn. Hella porn. But anyway, we did it. Nice work, everybody. We beat all the Festum. But uh oh. We're coming in from another fight, and Festum is heading for the heart of the island, where we are not. Looks like the Festum are learning them um, from fighting us and they're improving their capabilities and their strategy. And uh, apparently their strategy includes cutting us off from returning to help. So now we've got to kill all these nerds too. So uh, the new festivals seem impossibly fast and uh, have breached the defences with an attack from above that the base just isn't set up to deal with. So uh, Soshi is like, hurry back Kazuki, hurry up! Uh, but Makabe is like, fuck, I can't believe my only competence as a commander has allowed the breach to get fucked up like this. And uh...